Hey, Woodcutters, Topsaw here. I just got a brand new US General 26 by 22 tool chest from Harbor Freight because I'm actually sick of this one right here without ball bearing drawers. So it's pretty well organized, but this video is gonna be all about swapping this out for this and how this one works. We swapped it out we got the new US general 26 by 22 toolbox there and my old craftsman box there Kennedy toolbox I've had that forever and then this thing was a piece of junk um, and it just wasn't really big enough all my drawers were really packed you know, I can't stand digging and looking for something. Started organizing it and then thought I should probably organize it from the top down. It is tall with the extra three drawers right there and the red toolbox on top. I mean, I don't know. I won't be able to use the top of that too much here. Let me put my head in there. There it is right there roller cabinet it is that depth is super nice and not only do you have that depth but it actually comes all the way out so you don't lose stuff in the back of the drawer i guess there's really no point in having that depth uh, unless it's full extension drawers so i think this top drawer is going to be measurement and then maybe sockets i do i like the feel of these a lot Here's the lock. That'll help keep it organized. So there's a... Here are my other toolboxes at school. That's a U.S. General with the flop top. Here's my Craftsman toolbox. I must have bought this myself and brought it to school and it must go with that tray under it. And then there's a Craftsman roller cabinet under that. I am loving this new U.S. General Toolbox. It's trying to get organized. I like these labels that go in the handle. I'm not that organized, but it's starting. So this is categorical measurement. One thing I do notice right here, though, is I don't really like that red short toolbox on the top. So I think my next step is I'm going to replace that red one. All right, you couldn't really live with the red... Christmas colors, the red and green. So I ended up getting a new green toolbox. Actually, it's a super nice deal. So let's get that put in. So there it is right there. Just starting to rain right now. Break it open and get it in. All right, there it is in place. It does look awfully pretty. The clothes pretty nice. Super deep come with the pads in the bottom of them i like that a lot that's something else you have to remember to get closes i think that's not a complete close and then that's a complete close and then when the top comes down then that one will not open but the other ones without that complete close will i like that too I actually like that top. I can actually see in there just fine. All right, let's 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 get the transfer going. Well, the rest of the transfer going. Okay, so I'm in time-lapse mode right here. I'm trying to do this in a systematic approach, so it'll really be user-friendly, and maybe I'll get a few more things fixed if my tools are super accessible. Um, I got one of the magnetic socket holders from Harbor Freight. I really like this thing a lot. Um, it actually did not fit in that drawer, so I had to cut a few inches of it off so it fit in there nicely. And I thought about, you know, which tools I use the most and try to put those in the easiest reach. My big goal was nothing stacked on top of anything else so I could see what I have exactly. And then now that I have it all 
relatively organized. This drawer right here is all metric wrenches and sockets. I could see everything, deep drawer um, with full extension. And then that's my standard wrenches and then all my standard sockets. Not only do I not have anything stacked on each other, but I also have a fair bit of room available there for expansion, which I think will help. And then this is all my socket drivers. Uh, I'm really, really liking this upgrade a lot. For a little money, I think it's going to make me very much more efficient. All right, not quite done, but a little more organized. I got sharpening, knives, taps, locks, screwdrivers, metric. I do like the way that thing looks. Standard open end wrenches, plenty of room for expansion, standard sockets, measurement, socket drivers, electrical, and pneumatics. I'm not there, but I'm closer. I'm closer. I will give this toolbox. And the card it's on, an A+. Plus. I love it. I love it. I've always had these junky cabinets um, that never come out. They get stuck. All right, well, if you like this video, uh, hit like. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. This channel is all things wood, from tree work to woodwork. I'd love to hear your comments below. Worthwhile endeavor or not. I do feel like opening that drawer up right there. Uh, I like that. So, hope you like this video. Thank you.